Hi there, my name's Danny from littlegemsrockshop.co.uk and Little Gems TV. We're often asked how crystals work and I suppose the honest answer of course is we've all got our own personal interpretations because no one can conclusively prove how they work. There's an element of, of course possibly that there might be a bit of mind over matter in how they work. Um, certainly in my work outside of crystals in counselling I realise that the mind and the body are very much interlinked um, so therefore a belief that they're going to work and might have an effect if so I don't feel you can knock it if it works and it certainly appears to then the crux of it is it, it does but I believe it actually goes a little bit beyond mind over matter anyway um, when you kind of think logically about how we are we we are in existence because of energy our bodies run by energy our heart and our brain um, the neurons within our brain which are firing off all the time are electrical impulses which then send obviously messages down uh, that they call nerve and through the nervous system via electricity again so it's very much proved that our body works by electricity and our body is also surrounded by an electrical field as a result this has been known for many years as an aura and also the, the interpoints where the electrical uh, energy crosses have been known uh, throughout Eastern philosophy as chakras so, so far we've established that we have an energy field, but we haven't established how crystals come into this. Well, crystals interact with energy. That's why quartz clocks were called quartz clocks, because quartz crystals will vibrate at a regular rate when they're placed in an electrical field. Our computers store information on silicon chips, which is a refined form quartz. So when we put a crystal inside our energy field, our aura, I personally believe that this interacts on a very subtle level and changes our aura. What I can't give you is a scientific fact as yet as to how that change in the aura reflects on a change within our body and the healing process begins. And I suppose all of us as humans like a little bit of mystery. And that I'm quite happy to live with for now.